Here is Stephen Covey. I think one of the best ways to understand the seven habits, in fact, to understand any subject, is to study its opposite. So let me just briefly go through the seven habits of highly ineffective people, and then I'll revisit and restate the seven habits of effective people, and I'll attempt to use the original language, but to teach it in a new way. The first habit of ineffective people is that they don't take responsibility for their own life. They are victimized. They feel like they're under the control of other forces. They're under the control of environmental forces or other people are doing them in. People are unkind to them. Bosses are dead-ending their careers. Uh, Teenage children may be killing the spirit in their home life. Their spouse may be very oppressive and very inconsiderate. Their parents may have abused them on a consistent basis, and they grew up with what is called a shame-based identity out of a dysfunctional family. All of these things could have happened to these individuals, and so they have ample justification and reason to essentially say, I am what other people have made of me. I am what my past has made of me. I am what is happening to me all around today, and not to take responsibility. And people who blame are usually into love-hate relationships with their loved ones. They're filled usually with a lot of anger and even resentment toward sometimes their parents or other people in the past who have perhaps treated them unfairly, unjustly. They're often angry about what's happening out there in the environment, what the government is doing, what their boss is doing, what their organization that they are doing their work in is doing to them. In other words, all these things kind of accumulate and give to them a feeling that I am not responsible. Consequently, all they're doing is essentially living out the agendas that has been given to them before by other people, and they're filled with this state of what I call disempowering self and empowering the forces outside themselves or even the genetic and psychic forces within themselves, they're empowering them to continue to control their lives. And I do not want to judge the depth and the extent of the injuries that they may have received or are now being oppressed by. All I am saying is, between what happens to us and our response to it is our freedom to choose our response. And that is the key element of the first habit.